Greetings guys and gals, this is Jabrock bringing you the best in esports. Today we have StarCraft Brood War, the Shinhan Pro League. This is going to be NBC vs. Oz, Set 5, Light vs. Jadong. Jadong obviously going to be playing for Oz, and Light going to be playing for NBC Game Hero. It looks like we have um, Light at the top right as the Yellow Terran, and at the bottom left we have Jadong as the Red Zerg. And before this game gets started, um you know too hot and heavy I just want to say at first I have something to say about day 9 at first I thought day 9 was a complete schmuck and he was just annoying and I didn't like him and the only really uh, experience I had from him was recently and he was on one of like the uh, game station videos where they pretend to uh, give them lessons and then they actually uh, switch spots with the newbie and then you know one of the pros plays him and totally owns him. I think it was one with Husky where Day9 stepped in and totally owned him or something like that. But in all reality, man, I just sub I just subbed Day9. I favorited his uh, Day9 Daily number 100 where he does his like kind of autobiography. You guys need to watch that. If you haven't watched that, you need to go and watch that because that is freaking epic, man. It is crazy. Probably the craziest you know story. It is two hours long, so uh, get ready for a long one. But it is so crazy and you know just the stuff that he does like the stuff the uh the newbie tuesdays the early ex the, when he talks about early expanding or the way he breaks down videos man it gets me excited about playing the game and honestly he has turned into probably my favorite caster uh save you know the the ones like maybe cholera and cholera's gone so probably my favorite current caster even over her mold trap and diggity just because he has so much insight on the game and he tells you stuff that you never think of and it just like clicks for you you know it just clicks and he's helped me so much he's got me all motivated and uh, you know what he also made me realize you know earlier I was talking about the golden age of Starcraft being over but you know what it, it, it's not over it's it's just beginning it's just beginning esports is just getting big here in the west and we need to make sure that it doesn't you know it doesn't end that drone might get picked off uh, Jadon really needs to be careful about that but it it's just beginning it's just starting it's just getting big here and you know D9 has done so much with his brother uh, Nick Tasteless along with Artosis and all of them you know I ragged on them a little bit at first but I didn't really know how much they had done and they've done just so much for the community and you know they are freaking amazing and I just want to be you know I, I hate to say it like this but I want to be just like them because they're just doing so much for the community and it's so ridiculous how much they do and how awesome they are and how much he inspired me to commentate like I am in an awesome commentary mood right now and uh, you know I'm just wanting to play I'm gonna hit the uh, Starcraft too hard because you know I need to be because I'm a starter for the CSL for CSU and you know I need to be on my game I need to be better and he, t he talks about how he went for WCG and him and his brother played and his single mom and how much he supported and StarCraft, man, it just made me realize StarCraft is so awesome. StarCraft is the best video game ever made by far. Well, I already knew that, but it just reinforced it, and it reinforced how great the StarCraft community is, how much life lessons, I know this sounds stupid, but it's actually true, how much you can learn, um, you know, life lesson-wise, from StarCraft, and it just... It, you need to watch it. Day 9 uh, Daily number 100. It's featured on his channel. Go sub to him if you haven't already. I'm sure you are if you're uh, sub to me. You know, I'm sure you're sub, sub to him. But he is amazing. And, you know, I really, you know, hand it to him. He's just done so much. And that's what we need. We need all the commentators, all the big guys, you know. We need them all to join together and make esports big because I think that we can really we can really do something with the community here. Anyways, it looks like we might have seen a one racks in the CC for light. And uh, it looks like Jadong is going for his Hydro Stand as well as his Lair. He has expanded to his natural. And uh, light's going to see this. He has the SUV in the base. Jadong's trying to fight it off with two speedlings. So so he has gotten that speed upgraded. And uh, try, it looks like he tried to go in for a push, but this is definitely not going to happen. He's probably going to retreat, but no, not retreating, losing all those Zerglings, probably only killing off one Marine or so. So very nice job by Light. Light has uh, two barracks up, and so he also has his academy. So obviously going to go for that Medic and Marine play, which we see so often from TVZ. And, you know, when you go for that quick expansion, it's pretty much standard to go for that. Jadong's just being so persistent, man, with this attack, and I think he might be able to get through. Light's just taking off SCVs very quickly, and Jadong looks like he's going to have to back up because those SCVs get there just in the nick of time as that Marine is killed. I don't know why Jadong is really persisting with this Zergling attack here. Just trying to keep pressure on, but really he's just kind of throwing Lings away. It's not being 
being very economically uh, sound for him as he is losing probably about four lings to one marine and uh, one marine is 50 minerals and four lings is a hundred so that's not where you want to be as the zerg player looks like he does pick off one of those marines is able to pick it off only loses one ling at the same time but i don't know what he's doing man he just keeps persisting with that looks like engineering bay engineering bay rather <laughs> going up for light and so he's going to probably expect some mutalist there is a fire bat out now for light and so light's going to be able to deter any type of zerglings that try to come in there this overlord is at a very very good position and is able to see pretty much all of this and i apologize i don't know what map um this is on i'm assuming that it is going to be only a two player map um, I, why can't I remember the name of it? I know what this map is because I've seen it before. I just can't remember the name. This is the map where there is two, uh, there's two ways into your base pretty much. There's one where there is a ramp up to your base and there's also a, like, wide, a wide mini ramp that also goes into your base. This is, uh, I, they've played on this a lot. I don't know why I can't remember the name. But, yeah, so th that's what's happening here. And there's also eggs that you have to kind of sneak by. You can use your, uh, you know, workers to kind of, um, cheat your way through, or I'm pretty sure you can kill the eggs as well. But uh, that's that, and we see lurkers in the play for Jadong. So Jadong's gonna be going for lurker ling play rather than a lot of mutilisk. It looks like it looks like oh man, I think that uh, you know light should have attacked a little bit longer just for a split second longer. But he he would have been definitely in the range for those lurkers. Doesn't want to be in the range for that. But uh, those lurkers being very very dangerous, dangerously close to those marines when they burrowed could have got a lot of hits off from those marines. It looks like some of the marines going in the bunker, some of them going out. It looks like lurkers coming in here and Jadong looks like he's going to be able to possibly take down this bunker but no, it looks like he retreats just in the nick of time. There are two bunkers at the front. Very nice defense by Light and Jadong is going to kind of sit outside of his base and kind of contain him for just a little bit and Light is a very, very good um, Terran player as we know just beating Flash. Uh, that's not a spoiler because it was like two week, two to three weeks ago, but he beat Flash with Battle Cruisers, making the game super, super long. But uh, yeah, Light is definitely one of the best Terran players there are out there. Probably only second to Fantasy. I, I'd say if I had a rank of Flash, Fantasy, and then Light, and then probably Lita after that. But here he comes, here Jadon comes rather, with uh, a bunch of lurkers able to take down that bunker. He's going to be able to come in here, and I don't think that Light has enough forces to defend us. After I'd call him one of the best Terrans, he's just getting owned by the best Zerg which is, you know, not too bad. I mean, Jadong is Jadong. Jadong is the best Zerg player in the world right now uh, in Brood War, undisputably. I mean, no one can really tell you otherwise. Hyuk, yeah, he's okay. Not as good as Jadong, though. Jadong is just the man, and uh, he's pretty much a legend. Probably best Zerg player possibly ever to play. You know, there's that one guy that we don't mention, and then there's July, but honestly, I think that Jadong. Jadong's the best Zerg player ever. Just like Flash, I believe, is the best uh, Terran player ever, arguably. Um, but that's just my opinion. Here comes some more Lings, and, he, you know, Light is frantically trying to repair this bunker, but this bunker is definitely going to go down. He has one more bunker behind, and those Marines just popping, man, just right after that bunker exploded. And it looks like the uh, NBC game guys are a little bit worried for Light. Um, he has one more bunker built up, and he's reinforcing with more units. He also has a factory with a machine shop. Don't know what he's going to do with that. Probably going to go for um, some siege tanks is what I think. He looks like he's Jadong's trying to push in here with the links, but he's going to have to back up. He does have scan, as you know, and Jadong's going to have to back up a little bit, losing a lot of his forces, surprisingly, with that medic marine push. And I think that he should really back up. I don't know what he's trying to do here. He is trying to go in for another attack, but honestly, I think he should just macro up a little bit and save his you know minerals, save his armor me and kind of wait, wait it out a little bit. These lake half, uh, who is that? I don't know who that was. Um, sorry, I didn't know who that was. Kind of his face covered too. Looked a little bit like Reach, but I know for a fact that's not Reach because Reach is on, um, Air Force Ace, I believe, um, playing for them. So, it's not Reach, but who knows? Who knows who it is? Looks like these Medic Marines forces are trying to come in yet again, picking off two Marines and a bunch of, uh, I mean, two Medics and a bunch of Marines, doing a very nice job of just kind of containing light inside his base. There is two Comset stations, so he has just enough scan, burrowing his Lurkers yet again, able to pick off one of the Marines. Not too much damage done there, but, you know, another Marine goes down. Light needs to be very careful. He needs to do something. He probably should, um... You know, in all honesty, wait for the siege tanks to get out so he can siege on those lurkers before he moves in. But here comes Jadong for an all-in attack, pretty much. The lurkers, bro, and Jadong, GG's, man. Wow. Um, definitely did not see that coming. 
at all. I mean, pretty much that was a kind of an all-in attack from Jadong, but really, it seems like Jadong's just GGing a little bit early in some of these games, and honestly, I think he could have pulled it out, but anyways, that's game, guys.